Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Um, I have some cards to share with you. I am participating in Mel's um, Operation Valentine. Um, her annual, I think, I guess it's like a competition. Um, so what she does is she gathers all these handmade Valentine cards and she takes them to, I think she has three hospitals this year. Um, for children who, who can't leave, you know, they're stuck there at the hospital. Um, so this is so that they can do kind of like, you know, a, a Valentine trade, like, you know, like we did at whenever we were in school or your children do, um, where, you know, they take all their Valentine cards and they pass them out to all the kids. And anyway, um, so I will link below the, um, her video for the rules and all that if you want to join. But um, I used my Stampin' Up! Sweet Cupcake stamp set, and then I also used the um, Coordinating Thinlets, the cupcake cutouts, and then I also used a label um, from Tags and Labels Framelits from Stampin' Up! I, I'm loving Stampin' Up! Oh my gosh, I am loving the Stampin' Up! products. Um, in fact, I almost only use Stampin' Up! products on this. I also I used some paper um, from a stack that I've had for a really long time. I think this was like one of my first paper stacks and it's from K and Company and it's like this double-sided paper. And my card base I just used some Nina uh, bright white paper and I cut it down to just a note card size. I'll show you. And I, I also used my Stampin' Up! or Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, these are my favorite. Favorite! Oh my gosh. I've thought about signing up to be a demonstrator, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I, I did three different colors. I did purple, red, and like a greenish blue. So I have four cards in each color. And I have, in each color, I have two cards with like, two cards have the the heart background and two cards have the plaid background. Um, so what I did was I used two different colors for the icing and I used three different colors for the cupcake wrapper. Oh, where's my notes? Here it is. Um, so for the cupcake wrapper I used soft suede, chocolate chip, and early espresso. And you can just barely see the early espresso. It's just like this one little corner over here. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. But for the icing, I just used two colors and then I also did some heat embossing. Wow, this is like way off center, huh? Um, so on this one, I used mint macaron for the light color and then I used Bermuda Bay for the darker color. And then when I, when I stamped it with my um, um, clear embossing ink um, and put some clear embossing powder on it, that made an even darker um, little spot. So that's why I'd use the third stamp. I used the third stamp with the clear embossing ink because I knew it would bring out some of that, that color. I don't know if you can see the shimmer from the embossing on there or not. Um, and then the sentiment is also from the cupcake. Um, stamp set. So for this one I used Watermelon Wonder and Real Red. And then I also embossed as you can see. And so this one it kind of came out grainy. I'm not real sure but I still like it. Um, I used Rich Razzleberry and Perfect Plum and then also embossed. So I've got 12 cards total to send. Um, I might send more if I get a chance to make some more, but these were some that I could just, you know, knock out really quick. I kept them super simple because it takes me a long time to even make a super simple card. <laughs> so, because I put a lot of thought into it. I'm like, well, maybe I'll do it. Well, maybe, you know, and I change my mind a lot. So, um, I just kept it very clean and simple just to kind of, so I could get some cards knocked out because I want to get some cards sent to her. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. As that plane goes over, I hope you can hear me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.